This is amazing. Now we have artifacts for Abacus AI Chat LLM. Using its platform, you are able to create interactive games like this. Create a Flappy Bird game like this, as you can see here. Create an obstacle game like this. Create a snake game like this. It's more interactive. And you can use multiple models such as GPT-40, Sonnet, and much more. Create a Space Invader game like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Abacus AI Chat LLM Playground. It's same as Artifacts. You are able to write a prompt like create an interactive snake game and show in Playground and it automatically created the code and I'm able to run this on my screen directly from the user interface. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can use this tool, create games and finally interact with that. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. So using Abacus AI Chat LLM, you are able to access all these top LLMs such as GPT-40, Cloud Opus and Cloud Sonnet, Llama 3, Gemini Pro and much more. You are able to chat with large PDFs and you are able to create your custom chatbot. Also, you have access to the playground feature or the artifacts feature which we are going to see now. All this for $10 per user build monthly. Click the link in the description to sign up. So once after you log in, you'll have an interface like this. Here you can see the multiple models which we can use. So I'm going to use GPT-40 for now. Then going to ask, create a snake game in HTML and CSS and show in playground and click enter. This will automatically generate the HTML CSS code for me. And you can see it's automatically getting generated. GPT-40 by default, it doesn't have artifacts, but using this interface, you are able to add artifacts for this code generation. Now on the right hand side, you can see in this playground, it got the interactive snake game running. I can even start playing this game directly in real time in this user interface. And you can see automatically the score is getting increased. When I hit the wall, it's going to stop the game. You can also improve it from here just by asking it to modify the current layout. Next going to ask, create a Space Invader Game HTML and CSS and click enter. You can see it automatically start creating it again. Now you can see the game got created and I can move on the left hand side and the right hand side and I can shoot these obstacles and you can see the score results are automatically increasing. Now going to a new chat and in this time I'm going to use Claude Sonnet 3.5. Going to ask create a flappy bird game in HTML and CSS. I saw this works best when we try to create a HTML and CSS and the generation speed is also really high. And on the right hand side, I can see the game has started. So here's the game and it seems like it's not working properly. And just now I realized I need to use the mouse to click it. So the more I click the ball, it's going through. So you can see it's going between the pipes. And if I hit the pipe, it is game over. So I can even ask it to modify, make this game slow. And instead of mouse clicks, make it keyboard clicks when I use the space bar and click enter. Now this is going to modify the existing HTML CSS code and changing it based on our requirement. And now you can see I got the ball ready. It's jumping and I'm using my space bar on my keyboard to move through those pipes. And this is exciting. This is how you can create your own games and directly view it in this artifacts area. There are two more things which I want to share with you. One is you can define your custom instruction by going to this panel, click customize chat LLM. Here you can give your custom instruction. So whenever we ask a question, this instruction will automatically add it together. So I can just say, always keep it short in points. So this is how the chat LLM will respond. I can even provide my own information. I am interested in AI. The more information you provide, the more chat LLM understands you and able to give you accurate answer. And you can define custom instruction for each model individually. Another feature I want to show you is humanizing the response. If I ask, write an email to my manager asking for holiday, then it's generating me a response. Here at the bottom, I can see an icon here. I can click this, humanize. Then I can say professional and clear and regenerate. Then based on that instruction, this is going to regenerate the response. 
and this will speed up your process. I'm really excited about all these features. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.